we know it's 155 feet away and that we're starting off at time equals zero and that when the, when the car stops, when velocity is zero, the time is 3.52. So now what we can do is use integration from time equals zero to time equals 3.52 of our velocity function. And since we know that if the derivative of distance equals velocity, then if we integrate, it's going to go back and give us distance. And then we can compare that number to the 155 to see if the car is going to stop in time. So we have negative 25t plus 88 and then dt. So the way you solve an integral like this is first you just um, integrate this function here. And when we integrate that function, we're going to get negative 25 over 2. And it'll be t. It'll be t here, but I'll leave that blank for now. Plus then 88t. But again, I'll leave that blank for now. And then plus a constant that we don't know yet, OK? Wouldn't it be t squared for your first blank? Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry. Because just inversing the power rule that you'd use for differentiation there and again here gives you that. But since this has limits on it, we're going to use this and put in 3.52, and we're also going to put in 0, and we're just going to subtract them from each other. So we'll go 3.52 there squared, and then 3.52 here. And then if we subtract this, so we're subtracting at 0, what is this term going to be if time is 0? 0. What's this term going to be? 0. Then this term will be c. So that just cancel the C's. So really, that is all we're concerned with. And that actually comes out to be 154 feet, 0.88. So we narrowly escaped a collision there. But this is just an example of how you can use calculus, and especially um, integration and differentiation to analyze like real world problems with math. <clears throat> okay, so